Hello, this is Corknut, and welcome back to Deluvian Resubmerged Deep Dive Part 3. Continuing off from where we left, we last talked to Hope and John Hasley, and I believe we're now on a quest to find parts for our new submarine, although the quest is still here. Yes, John can upgrade our sub, and his grandma, or his mom, Hope, will sell us new subs. Meanwhile, huh, they had some rivets there that we can steal. And we're moving on. So, Gregory Hudson says, can we visit the Sonar Guild? Let's see what he has to say here. Gregory, there you are. You have something to talk about, bud? You know how to get to the drill site? Yeah, I mean, every guild member knows about it. Well, what can you tell me about the drill site? They're drilling through the ice with a superheated drill bit. It's the first time anyone's tried this method. Uh, what's the sonar guild? Uh, yeah, I guess it's more formally known as the sonar and communications guild, but nobody calls it that. I have some business I need to wrap up there, and well, I figured since we're in the area. Okay, well, that looks like a new quest. Let's go find the sonar guild. Let's double check our inventory, make sure we have space in case we need to loot. Looks like we've got plenty of space now. Our goal right now is to collect 8,000 dinar so that we can upgrade our ship. Let's see, Sherry the intern. Who are you? Hey, hey, you must be the captain. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be on board. Thank you so much for having me. We're going to have so much fun. You can forge an armor upgrade with these materials. Cool, so we can ask her at any time what materials we need. Great. Portal glass, rivets, plate. Depth upgrades? You must mean the pressure resist kits. Yes, they increase your sub's ability to dive. You'll need these materials to forge one. And engine upgrades. Vroom vroom, this one is my favorite. It allows your engine to overdrive. Engine output is increased for a short period of time. The more of these babies you forge, the longer the engine can maintain overdrive. Ah, okay, so you need a base upgrade to even be able to overdrive. Dashboard decoration, 15 engine parts, a bunch of rusty gears. Life support? Of course, Cap. When you forge a better life support system, your sub can hold more sailors. Food and air tank. I just need food for that one. Inventory upgrades. Looking to haul more loot, Captain? Rivets end. <laughs> Unknown 5. Hmm. I believe that's copper wire. Yeah, I think that's what we saw last time. So that just reminds me that uh, what we had in here, this copper box, this box down here, is storage. So that loot that I just found in there, which was two rivets, I believe. Um, we put that in here last time just to see if it would actually be available and it's a good sign it was available between saves so now we're also going to hope that it is available uh, between storage boxes like technically we, it said we should be able to go to any storage box and find that stuff alright so over here we have it must just be a range marker. I'm not sure what the weird green box next to it is. For here, we looks like we just have some some of these home. We're gonna board and steal their loot. That was worth it. We've got some food for that. space we have after that. Okay, so we have space for five weird things. And um, it looks like that stuff can stack to about a depth of a hundred, so yeah, like 112 scrap mellow. 
Uh, so we should be able to grab a bunch of stuff. And I know there was a bunch of loot back in the direction we came from. Um, also, this here. We did we go to both of these? I think we only ended up going to... Ah, there it is. That's what I was looking for. That one up there we definitely didn't visit yet. Hannesburg Courtyard. Lots of people in here to talk to and a door to check out. The mayor! You in charge? I'm the mayor here. You're lucky to visit us at this time. Not many travelers get to see our tree in full bloom. Wow, they have a tree. So trees must be pretty rare here on the water. How did you get a tree? It was a gift from House Morganson before they fell. When the apples arrived, we have the harvest festival. Everyone wants a taste of the apples. Rare apples in this new world. There's the Thomasburg chef. There's a lady sitting in the tree. There's our storage crate, and look at that, it's got our rivets in it. Great. Okay. So, what we should do is start putting stuff in there for stuff we want to store for forging, because we definitely want to be able to make new stuff. Um, things like that. Oxygen tank could stay in there. And any food we find could stay in there. Um, probably just all the forge materials we find just in case. The rest of the stuff we'll keep for selling and for shooting. This is our crew, Gregory. Yep, so they don't have anything new to say. They're happy to get some shore leave though, I'm sure. Hal Whistlewaite. Are you a sailor? I've dabbled a bit in sailing, but there's only so much fun you can have blowing things up with torpedoes. I'm looking for a torpedo officer. Listen, mate, I'm fully aware of what type of ship you're piloting, and it's not one that would lead you to require a torpedo officer, yeah? Huh. So, when we get torpedoes, I guess we come back for Hal. Alright, can I see something else? Yes, there's this guy. Chef calls out to you. Hey, hey, you! Listen, can you do me a huge favor? I've got a big client in from the Southern Coast, and he's demanding blueberry tart. Problem is, blueberries are basically non-existent. But we've heard rumors that a merchant in Daybreak got hold of some. Shall we get going then? Do you think you could take me there? I'll pay you for your trouble, of course. Take you there? Okay. You're gonna have to repair the boat for us while we're cruising them. Right. See any hidden loot up here anybody? Nope. Right, let's go in here. Alright, a couple people, guest house owner, and Steve Ford. Uh, Steve Ford, I don't really want you, but let's see if you want to join. Well, there were opportunities for study along the way. Um, yeah, but we don't have space for you, honestly. Do you get many guests here? We had loads pass through not too long past. Trailed off some in the last few weeks, though we always house traveling academics, a few folk running from the royals and whatnot. Mind you, keeps the business going. Okay. And do you have any stuff for me to loot? There is a door. And a smith. Reception and strength. Hey Anna, want to join up? You free? What? Me work for you? Yeah, okay. Sorry, Anna. You are too expensive right now. Oh, looks like the, we found the bar. The man with a metal leg, another door. Victor. Hey, Victor. You a card player? Explore the oceans all you want. This is where the true excitement in life lies. <laughs> you don't say. What is this? Standby crew. If your ship is getting a bit crowded, you can remove sailors from your ship without losing them by putting them on standby. You can always pick them up again for any, for any crew exchange post. Oh, that is nice. Alright, right now we have five of a maximum 13 crew. 
Um, we don't have anybody extra to man this. So we need, right now, we probably would be happy with two more crew. One to man Gregory's potion and one to just be full-time repairs. Man with metal leg, what do you want? Don't waste your money on can racing, kid. Shacked fighting's where is that? If you know the contacts to get in. Huh. Can racing and shacked fighting. I don't know what that is. I wonder if he means shark. Or if that's a new kind of animal, a shacked. Alright, let's go look in this door. Oh, there's light. And chest. Ooh, a heart pendant. Increases endurance. And the Thomasburg chart. My sweet Thomasburg jewel and fjord's icy crown. Air wall stands strong, shining against time, sea and tide. Extra extract from Stephen Aspen's journal. Ooh, lots of food, too. We'll take Anna Smith with us. And what these lights do. Can we see our map from here? Oh, we can. Great. So those lights turn on landmarks in the map. Wow, we have a lot of places to visit now. Sonar Guild. The Drill. Daybreak. Okay. Interesting places. Alright, so the question is, do we want one more person? I don't think perception strength is a very good mix, but let's go check that, because I'm not very good at remembering these. Um, so, right now we have uh, intelligence and perception and gunner. Let's see, I believe Jung Bush was set up for here. Yep, so endurance and strength in engine. What about... Can you work for us? No. You are useless. Can you work for us? No, you are also useless. Okay, what if we put you back here though? Since you have quite a bit of stats... Yeah, how can I see it? There it is. Okay, so... Sonar Station needs perception and nothing else. And that will increase our range. Endurance there and intelligence perception. Okay, so we need to bump up endurance on this lady. And that brings our helm up. That didn't seem to make any difference. So maybe it increased engine power to 28%. Maybe it was 18% before. Yes, endurance increases engine output by 21%. Okay, 28%. Alright, so we are going to go back in and hire one more person to man sonar. We need somebody with perception. And we saw this lady here. She had perception one. We saw this guy here for later. And we saw this guy here. This perception negative one. We're not hiring. We're hiring you, Anna Smith. And I like your octopus tattoo. That's cool. All right, it is a setback in terms of money, but we didn't talk to the bartender here either. There is no bartender to talk to. That's so weird. I think the bartender would be available to sell stuff to us. Okay. Let's put that lady to work. Anna Smith. We can increase our soda on our range. Okay, now we're full up. So what we probably want to do is give somebody a star. And it's either going to be J to make us faster or it's going to be Cat. I think it's going to be Cat. So let's give Cat that Officer Star. 
So now she can command two sailors. So if we get another intelligence perception sailor, we'll throw her in there. Or we could always move this lady around. Because having that extra perception bonus will increase our critical chit critical hit chance. Right now it's 2.3 with both of them. It was just one of them. Chance is 1.5. Okay. Don't know what that means exactly, but 2.3 seems better than 1.5. Alright, so this is the lady artisan who will buy stuff for us. We've got a bunch of loot to sell. Also have charts. We're not going to sell any of our charts because they're worth a lot. And we did pick up a bunch of food. So is this our loot locker here? Yes. So we're now up to 24 food. I think we needed 50. And that was the limiting factor for life support. Which we're getting close to having. Oh, food 15. Okay, so we can actually make life support right now. So let's go there. Get 15 food in our air tank out. And then we'll bring it back to... Bring it back to our friends in... The engineer skilled? What is this place down? The Hasleys. John and Hope. John, can you upgrade my sub? feel like that just overwrote something, but I don't think it did. Oh yeah, didn't we have a depth upgrade there? Hmm. I feel like I just lost depth upgrade. Let's see, maybe I've just... oh no. What? Huh. Oh, oops, we already had one. Now we have way too much life support I see <clears throat> okay so our crew were capable of holding 16 crew so we don't actually need these two right now so that's plus nine so without these two we'd be capable of holding 10 crew one and three four so let's actually talk him into dismantling yeah, I guess once we get something else to replace those, we can dismantle them. No big deal now. I guess it's a good way to hold extra loot in the form of modules. We won't have to see how dismantling works until we get to that. Let's check out where we want to go. So it still says they're a bigger... Okay, that's the upgrade quest. Let's head to the Sonar Guild first, because that seems to be closest. And it looks like it's going to be up through Tomaldal. What's on the way? Some kind of bathysphere. Somebody's house under the ocean. Should probably add more people to the boarding party. Yeah, Anna, you can join the boarding party. We can upgrade our borders later. Wow, there's a 
ton of stuff in here, but we can't take any of it. Uh oh, a drunk pirate. Uh, luckily, he's only level one. It appears the drunk pirate has fallen asleep in the corridor. Attacker wakes him up as they attempt to sneak past, and sleeping, sleeping pirate gets in the way. What will Alex Hawk do? Alex Hawk. All right, you can observe him. And you have a chance to do two damage. Alex Hawk notices the pirate is very unsteady on his feet and tries to trip him, but the pirate steps over Alex Hawk's kick. Uh oh. Pirate throws his empty bottle at Anna Smith, and she is injured. Anna Smith is injured, must retreat to the ship. Okay, Young Bush has a chance to a very high chance to evade for two damage. Sitting by drunkly lunges at Jung Bush who readies her party manages to get past him. Okay. And we've got an old world map. Hopefully that was worth getting Jung or uh, Anna Smith injured on her first outing. I also found some periscope mirrors. Which I believe is just loot, so let's double check. See if she's like permanently injured or anything. Or if that's just. No, it doesn't look like anything serious. It's just that one adventure she's injured for, I hope. Alright, I think we're gonna go in that crevice there. Oh. Crevasse. Crevasses underneath the glaciers. Deep crevice. Yep, this is one of the forgotten fjords, Tomaldal. Can't be that forgotten if the guild headquarters is in here. Oh. Hopefully that's the sonar guild. Oh. Oh, I'll get the ceiling there, buddy. Icy, Ice City Merchant. What are you selling? Got a knickknack or two? Take a look. Ah, uh, copper wire. Yes, that's definitely what we want for our engine upgrades or whatever we were trying to upgrade. We find an old world map. Just think, when our ancestors were young, all of this was fields. That's a field. Okay. Trade you that, and we'll take a copper wire or two. Hmm. Actually, we're gonna hold on to all of our money until we get a better ship. I'm making a resolution. Frightened refugee, you look scared. Ever since I got here, I felt like a minnow trapped in an octopus's tentacles. Hmm, I wonder why. Why is there a refugee here? Is he okay? My poor lad, we're up and running around not a day before the latest ship dropped off the new lot of royal beggars, and now here he is. He can't barely sit upright, he's so ill. His dirty incomers are spreading disease. Hmm. Not too happy about the new people. Sorry to disturb you. First you consume the food we fish, then huff the air that we breathe. You gonna take my bed from me too? They're very friendly here in the ice. Whoa. Uh, something deep down here. There's a dog. I can't talk to them. What do we have here? Frustrated refugee. Why are you angry? I used to own an o ocean class specialist fish breed in business, but they dismiss me just because I'm from a royal house. In a word, they're overfishing their own stocks. That was more than a word, but. Ah, uh -huh, look at this. Captain's Charm. Eye of Loon. Increases boarding party's observation for the duration of a hazard encounter. Interesting. Food. Porthole glass. Nice. I don't really use the captain's time very often. Here's our landmark. 
Glacielberg. Glacielberg. Lovely landmark. Don't think we're quite finished though, are we? It didn't say salvage complete, but it did give us the light, so maybe that was the end. Alright, and there doesn't really seem to be anything further off the edge of the map that we could find, so we're calling it a day. Let's back out of there. And head through that hole, that's got to be where the sonar guild is. See the sonar guild? There we are. We made it. Sonar apprentice, a door, a lever to change crew with, an oblivious apprentice, the Morris engineer, Greg, Allison Hoff Allison Hostrovar. All right, Greg, what do you think first about the Morse radio? Ah, right. Um, let's talk to her first. Who are you? I'm the president of the Sonar Guild Journeyman Society. What is it to you? You know Gregory? Oh, Hudson, did you make my receiver components yet? I... no. Look, I'm feeling generous today, so I won't flush you out the airlock just yet, but... Hey, lady, I ought to do you a favor and pull that stick out of your backside. And what are you? His lame-ass sidekick? I could smoke you where you sit. Whatever. He didn't say no when I told him to do my work. Why don't you get your bony ass out of my guild before I slap that smug face of yours? Cat... Let's just go. It's not worth it. Hmm. Is Alice in, in charge around here? While Master Farsteer is away, she bullies the rest of us into doing her work for her. Although she hasn't tried anything with me since I accidentally rigged her first project to melt when she switched the power on. Smart guy. About this one. Where's Master Forest here? He'll be at Spirio City. He works with the royals in exchange for funds and rare materials for our guild's research. But it also means that we're not getting the supervision that we need. Why does Allison hate Gregory Hudson? She's envious. Master Forrester gives him special lessons because he's a year ahead of her, despite them being the same age. Hmm. What do you think, cat? Nothing? Morse Engineer, are you part of the Sonar team? No, don't get me involved in this. If I don't complete my course, I'll be spending my life scrubbing decks. I keep my head down to avoid becoming a target myself. Is that so wrong? Alright, so, Greg, about the Morse radio? Ah, right. There should be one around here somewhere. Just look around. Quietly. Really? Okay, there's a door. Let's crew exchange. Let's go through here. Is the finger pointing up? There's some paintings. There's a landmark. Chest with a Morse radio used for communication between subs. And some money and a crowbar guaranteed to do one point of damage against any hazard. Nice. Uh, 
All right, then. Things wrapped up with the Sonar Guild. I appreciate the help, even though Allison can be a real pain sometimes. I snagged this. It might help out our crew. Ears Pendant and Spirits. Permanently increased perception by one. Wow. Three of those? That will definitely help out our crew. Okay. Thanks for helping me out, Cap. Okay, we did the SOCOM guild. We're gonna head back and make our way to the connoisseur to drop off the chef. Let's do that next. We might also just inspect this other fjord over here just to see what's in there. Um, perception by two, huh? Well, that would really be good for gunning and really be good for pretty much everything. Gunning or uh, radar. I wish we could see our inventory from that screen, too. Got three of those. Excellent. We will bump up gunning for Alex. We will bump up radar here. Let's see what that gives us so far. Almost we'll decide. So, perception increases critical chance. Sonar, I believe, increases range. Right? Okay, so let's do one more here. Give him, bring him up to perception four. That's pretty high perception for anyone compared to anyone we've ever seen. Got two slots there. So during combat, if we throw her in there too. That's going to make our critical hit chance plus 4.5, which is, seems pretty intense. So let's see. I don't use the radar very much. So pinging with the radar. Basically, you hold down X. And it gives you kind of a reflection view of everything around you. Should be doing that a lot more often, I think. Although, it seems pretty easy to navigate now compared to what I remember the old, the old version being like. Maybe it'll get darker later. Whoa! Wait a second. I think I saw something there. No. Might be nice to get the engine upgrade so that we can do like bursts of speed in overdrive. But I still think we should upgrade the sub first. Probably could have upgraded the sub immediately just by selling those uh, perception hearts. That would have given us about close to 6,000 just for those. But before we do that, let's go explore this channel over here and see if there's any salvage to be had down this channel, this fjord. Looks like some sites up here we could talk to. Bounce off the ceiling there. Almost worth it. Look 
clumsy filthy rat. Alex Huck. Oh, look. We have to maybe we have to put her back in our. Uh... Maybe we have to put her back in our away team. Yes. Interesting. We lost her out of the away team. Okay. Oh, I wonder if the order matters. Yeah, we should probably make sure we have. Can you rearrange this? No, you can't. Oh, I see. Hmm. Seems. Oh, here we are. Is there another door? Or is that looting complete? Seems like there should be another spot here. Oh well. Okay. So I also noticed that we can point at these and hail them by hitting X. Wonder. Heading in to Rainfjord. Whoops, crashing. Hopefully, not too hard. Kind of science station here. An empty bed. Found. Lots of room. Not a soul to be found. Well, this place just keeps going, doesn't it? Hey, we found a dashboard decoration finally, and another C chart. does just keep going. Incredible. Abandoned, but enormous. Clumsy, filthy rat! Alex Hawk has a good chance of crushing it with his perception. Got it. Book pages. Uh oh, out of space. It doesn't let us transfer stuff on a find like that. We're already out of inventory room though. Alright. See what we might want to abandon here. Five dashboard decorations. Spirits. Yet yeah, increases boarding party's brute force chance for the duration of a hazard encounter. I wonder how you use those. Maybe during the encounter all of this. Okay. Lots of useful stuff in here. No space. Um, I think it's probably no space for the scrap. Yes. Wait. No, it's no space for the dashboard decorations, because we can probably only carry one of them. Maybe two? No, okay. So dashboard decorations are only worth 35. Is there anything else that's worth less than this? Yeah, these book pages might contain lost knowledge, but they're not worth a lot. 
spirit's worth 150. Oh, I should probably do something with the Morse radio, huh? I'm surprised it's not a key item. Okay, I think I could take the scrap metal, but I won't let me take it. Okay, I think I'm gonna dump the book pages. Oops, I'm gonna take the scrap metal. And we're gonna dump the book pages. And we're gonna take these. Yes, okay, so they overflooded too. So that was worth 35 each. Okay, that's 35 each. So that's worth 70, whereas these are only worth 5 each. Let's get out of here. We'll leave those pages. Who needs books in this day and age? This is huge. It just keeps going. Wow, and it was a landmark, huh? Giant seat. Okay, I guess that's it. Oh, well, one more loot. Giant seat chart. Can't take the chart. Okay, well, I'm going to take the money. Oh, no space for the money. 15 each. Wow, so that's almost 1,500. What are we going to dump for that? <laughs> Maybe these two things, yeah. Oh, we can't dump those. We can only dump loot. Okay, so 100 times 15. That's still only 1,500. So let's dump the... that's 200, that's 150, that's 500, that's 250, 360, 200. Yeah, I think we're gonna dump the pot, I mean the spirits. Sorry. Take the money, dump the spirits. Let's get out of here. Um, let's check this one other place just in case there's a... Oh, where is that? Is that on the other side? I think that's on the other side of this. Go below it. Giant seat is a. Uh... Huh, giant seat is like a broken door or something. Oh, there's something just sucking us in here. What happened to the giant seat? Uh oh. Super Pirate accuses him of trying to steal his money bag. Alright, so let's try to use our items. Use item! There it is. Okay, just to see. I have loaned. Those are so valuable. Guaranteed to do one point of damage. No, let's save those. Those are way too valuable. We've got a 78% chance of killing him outright. Missed. Okay, he's gonna attack. Oh, he missed. Good. Okay. Jung Bush has 73 chance. Did it. Okay. Not sure we can take. Oh, we could. Take all the loot. Good. Still have room for the loot. So, okay, we're out of here. That looks like ice that we're going to collide with, doesn't it? Whoa. Coolant applied. I'm not really sure what coolant does. Is there a coolant station though? No. Okay, and there's some kind of crazy current here pushing us back. Basically stuck against this thing. 
Let's see if we can't go backwards. Nope. There we go. Nice. Oh, we had to undock. That's what happened there. And that, hopefully, is a traitor. Yes. Traitor? Traitor? Where are you going? Back here. I'm gonna dock with you, bud. Alright. Let's dock. Trade with you. Hopefully, we don't hit the wall. What was that? We had a barb, short range, high spread, quick fire bolt cannon. He has a bunch of torpedoes, scrap metal. Let's just sell what we can to him. Even if he isn't giving us the best rates, it's at least making room. Okay, we can have the crowbar too. Yes, so we almost have enough to upgrade our ship. Alright, let's just peek back here on the off chance we missed anything. Take a turn. I don't think we did, but it's possible. Ooh, that looks like. An enemy ship or something? Oh, mines. Oh my, there are mines. Okay, that's coolant. We don't need either of those. What she say? Mines, can we shoot them, Cap, please? <laughs> mines. Okay. She wants to shoot the mines. Got one. Any more? There's one. this minesweeper quest do for us? Let's see. Minesweeper! Clear out the Rhineford minefield. All of them, huh? Okay. See any more? Yes, there's one more back there, I think. Oh, maybe one below us, too. Not a mine. Huh. I don't see any more. Ah, maybe over there. It's hard to see through all this foam. There, there, there's a bunch over here. Okay, there's one down there. Green dot must just be like our cooldown. Whoa, 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 close. Our weapon is not particularly powerful. Stuff on the sea floor here. Maybe some more mines over that direction. Really love the undersea noises, it just makes it feel so like you're creaking through an old buried 
pile of steel supported by its atmosphere inside, ready to implode at any minute. Everything all, seems all old and rusty, like they've been down here hundreds of years. What is this? and that's showing which one's fire. There, we did it. Talk with Gregory. Yes, you're the best, Cap. Alright, I think that was probably the end of Ryan Fjord. Pretty much. Maybe something beyond that. Let's look beyond this little one bit of land here. It's sure is dirty in this place. Can't really see anything. Yep, there's just a wall here. Oh wait, no, this is the way. Okay, but yes, I was right. That is the hard stop. Where is it? Yes, we're heading out. Okay, we're gonna head back to Thomasburg closer um, and I think we're gonna have to whoa it's quite a strong current pushing us pushing against us here get below it always go below the currents whim of the current in this little ship. Alright, now let's go in the right direction. Good, and here we are back in Tonnesburg already. City of Ice, wow, okay. Did, how did we miss this on the way out? Yes, I didn't really miss it, that is Tonsburg. Yes, it is. Okay. Forge materials. We do have some dashboard decorations. We have some porthole glass, we have plenty of food. There was no one here to sell, to sell or buy stuff from. That was down here. But, I believe we're going to save it here. And we're going to call that a day. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for part four.